Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Clinton with CNC Equipment. We're about to head out to uh, Iowa today to pick up the slide in truck camper for the Creek Cab build. Um, we're going to swing by Bloomington and pick up Scott. He's going to go with me today. It's a little chilly out. Got a little bit of frost on the windshield. It's 36 degrees out. But yeah, we're going to head out to Walcott, Iowa. Um, it's actually home of the world's largest truck stop too, so we're definitely going to have to stop by there and check that place out. I don't think Scott's ever been out there. Um, if you don't know Scott, Scott's actually my brother-in-law, so you may hear, hear us call him Uncle Scott quite a bit in the videos. That's just, just because he's my kid's uncles, I guess, so that's just what we call him. But uh, he, he sells a lot of the uh, Jeep bodies and replacement Jeep bodies and parts and uh, skid steer attachments. He helps out. You'll see him. A little bit of everything, but we're going to head to Bloomington to go pick him up and uh, we will uh, see you guys there. You can follow along. Alright guys, we made it to Iowa. Got Uncle Scott with me. We are getting ready to pull into the, you guys can see that sign over the world's largest truck stop. The big town of, what is it, Olcott? Olcott, Iowa. We're going to jump off here, probably check out the truck stop. We might take you guys along. I think there is a, uh, Trucking museum there too, isn't there, Scott? There is. Yep. We may we'll swing. We may swing in there and look at some Peter belts and whatnot. So. All right, all right. It looks like we're rolling up to the Iowa. It said they had 900 parking spaces for big rigs. We got a truckle mat. We got some fried chicken. We got a Wendy's. Does it look like the world's largest truck stop? It's pretty large. Pretty large. Look at all them swift trucks. You gotta watch out for those. Where's the camper place at? Should we go over there first? You gotta go that way. Oh, we're gonna go over here. We forgot what we come here for. We're gonna go over and check out the camper place. We're gonna take a little peek in here. We're not supposed to be here for another so I see some truck campers over here I don't know which one uh, it looks like those are little ones we gotta try to find one of ours here in this big group of clusters here we'll see which one it is and we'll let you guys know all right they're not quite ready for us at the camper place we'll come back here um, we're gonna pull in here to check out that truck what is that? Old Chevy? Yep. Oh, we got people behind us. We better. We're gonna park this rig and go inside and see what's up. And you guys can see over there is actually a trucking museum. We may try to check that out here too. Are we going the wrong way? No. We're not a bus, are we? Anyway, we're gonna get parked and we're gonna go inside. 
There's the big sign. Scott's trying to take a selfie. He thinks he's cool. I know it. There's a lot of crap around here. We're gonna go inside. We got a bunch of brick here for some reason. Got an old gas pump. Those are old, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Got an old gas station here. Got some cool looking trucks inside. This place got all kinds of stuff in here. This is pretty cool right up here. We got an old Dodge Power Wagon. You got her all flexed out too, don't they? What's he doing? Some rock crawling? So this is just in the main store. We got food court over there. We got Dairy Queen, Pizza Hut, Coffee Place. Show trucks are down there. We're gonna go down and check those out. Train cool shades. Not yet. 1947. Pretty cool. Scott just plotted this. Uh, was it M38? M38. Mm-hmm. Of course, Scott's our Jeep guy at work. So. What we got here? Gilly suit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is she all original or what? Yeah. Looks pretty original. Okay. Thank you. Pretty cool. What do you got over here? Flags. 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 All kinds of stuff in here. Alright, here's the truck shop side of it. All the chrome parts and all that good stuff. Get your DVD. How about a guitar? Need a couple of them. Let's strum on that. All kinds of cool stuff. And a chromed out old Freightliner in here, all painted up. Keep in mind, this is just in the store. We're not, not, not even in the museum yet. Get that dude all painted up. All kinds of lights. We need some of these lights for the crew cab truck. We need to find something in here to take with us. I don't know about those. Headlight covers. I'm sure there's something in here we need. All kinds of air cleaner lights. Dang. Some LED headlights. Here's the Peterbilt section. Some switch covers, gauge covers, freight liner, all kinds of stuff. All right, so this is pretty cool. This is actually, oh, you guys can see this. This is actually spinning right now. We got this Peterbilt on a rotisserie show truck all decked out. That's pretty cool. Spinning around in here with all the trucks out there. I got some chrome stacks down here. Do we need a chrome stack? Several. Some big old stacks. Look at that dude. That's big. Those are like stove pipes. Let's 
Scott's found his favorite section here at the truck shop. We've had all the chrome naked ladies. And what are these, Scott? Oh, truck nuts. Big balls. Got chrome ones, blue ones, purple ones. They're all kinds of stuff. We found a set of mud flops we need to check those out. You'll soon be seeing mud flops. You got American ones? I like those. They got an eagle on there? A hawk. A hawk, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Stars and bars. That's kind of tempting. We got some quarter fender flops. We got everything. Mud flop weights. Look at these. All right, we just left the actual truck stop. We're getting ready to head over to the trucking museum. They say it's free of charge. We'll find out here. All right, we're inside. Checking out all the cool trucks. This is pretty much a wagon here, bub. Two cylinder. It's not much more than a glorified powered wagon. Check out the tires in the back of that thing. Good year. A lot of wood. International Harvester. Has that got a DT-466 in it? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Electric. 84 volt. Ooh. Got a Mac right up front. You guys can see way down there, I see a truck camper. Pretty cool. You think that would turn a tight radius? It's a short wheelbase. <laughs> Mobile home transporter. There's a lot of trucks in here. You guys can see all that. Dang, they got that Mac stretched out, don't they? I mean, she is stretched. Oh. Big oil field rig. Look at that cable. It's got the oil field roller tail on it. Thing is long. Cab and a half, super white. And that auto car over there. Nineteen forty-two Peterbilt. Top speed eighteen mile an hour. Hmm. I don't know about that. That chain driver on the back wheels. A driller rig. Check out the 68 F-250. Here for special. Little oh, Kenworth.
72 mile an hour. There we go. 275 horse. That was quite a bit back then. It may have been changed. I don't know if you guys seen a while back. I actually had a T model Ford truck, which was a conventional cab. This is a cab over version. Mine is actually older than this. 62. Maybe we should have brought it in here. <clears throat> An auto car. Ooh, right here's a real truck. B model Mac. That's a heavy, heavy dude right there. Three thirty-five Cummins. That thing chain drive? It is. Nope. That's a winch. This big dumb Rio. That thing's pretty cool. <clears throat> and the rooftop air conditioner. Little forts and tractor on the back of that. Mac concrete truck. And this big diamond T. 1954. Somebody's put an 855 big cam in it. would be good in a crew cab. Five and a quarter Cummins. A hit and miss. Mac made some real trucks, didn't he? Check out that extended cab. Guys, check out. There's an old cab over International 64 Emeryville. 180 horse Cummins. Uh, 86 GMC. We got a matching Jimmy Jenner over here. 8V92. That's a slick looking truck. Even though I'm not a GMC guy. Cool. Somebody spent some time on that dude. Cab over Bulldog Kenworth. Ford. 
It's a honcho. Mm -hmm. It's a dandy. The old radiators. What kind of tires we got over here? Is that wood? Little knobbies. Looks like chunks of wood. Mm -hmm. Wooden plug wheels. Good traction in the field and dirt road. You can see that's a steel rim with wooden, wooden plugs in it. I guess you replace those and they get worn, huh? Got the old freight trailer fixed up. Concrete truck. And the police. Mm -hmm. Armored truck. 45 mile an hour. That pretty general. Have the Detroit oil underneath of it. It's about normal. Some early trucks. Old log truck, Mac log truck. He's got this dude all stretched out. International. Stack of leaf springs on that dude. <laughs> Studebaker. All right, guys, we just left the museum. It's pretty cool. It's something you definitely want to check out if you're in the area I've been by here a million times and that was my first time in there so we're getting ready to pull back in the camper place here we're gonna try to find our camper and get loaded up all right guys this just happened we got a uh, truck camper loaded on the old Dodge that's one we're gonna put on the crew cab build we're getting ready to head out of Walcott Iowa that's what she looks like got a slide out on the side We'll show you guys and get back. It's fully loaded, four season type camper, so it did fit all right on the truck anyway. We're gonna get uh, filled up and get out of here and head back to Indiana. So we'll we'll see you guys back at the shop. guys just dropped uh, Scott off um, it's been a long day it's after 8 o'clock here now we left at uh, oh five o'clock something this morning so um, I'm just about back home now everything's went good campers been riding good so I'm um, looking forward to getting it over to the shop and uh, I'm gonna get it set up and we'll probably get the truck sitting in there and we'll get to doing some measuring and whatnot so we've got some other things to work on at the shop too so definitely keep an eye out uh, on our videos and stuff coming up we've got a lot of content coming out so we've got some more stuff on the crew cab for sure um, some dozer repair and all that good stuff but guys let me know if you like what you've seen today so I was gonna add some more to this video but I think with all the 
uh, museum stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, see all them old trucks and stuff. I didn't realize I've been by that place quite a few times and never actually ever walked in there. But it is a free, free museum and everything, so you can walk in. They do take donations, of course. Um, there are a lot of nice trucks, and then you know they was done done very well. So a lot of history in there for sure. We did kind of a very quick walk through just because we were hurting for time. Um, I've drove close to 700 miles today, so it's been a been a haul. But uh, anyway guys comment below let me know what you like to see and we will catch you on the next one